Hey guys, welcome back to GuitarAnimal.com. This is Trent, and this is part four in my theory series. Today we're going to be going over how to write major scales which contain flats. It will be really beneficial if you watch the first three parts before you attempt this, first three parts of the series, uh, particularly parts one and two, and I think that if you can write the major scales with the sharps, which was in part three, before you come to writing these scales with flats, I think it'll be a lot easier for you. Uh, I've learned that in teaching it. Uh, my students, they seem to have a better time with the flats once they have the uh, sharps under the belt. So take a look at that. Also, I'll refer you to the points at the bottom of the page where you can set loop points and go over each one of these scales as I go over them as many times as you need to until you have that scale down before proceeding to the next scale. Uh, I, you know, following this from the beginning to the end, it, you know, if you're really with it, you can do that, great, but use the loop points. I had that in mind when I was do, going over this as I'm going pretty quick. All right, we also have a printout for major scales with flats at the bottom of the page. Make sure you print that sheet out. Have your pencil in hand and you can follow along as I'm doing this and do the work. And again, don't, you know, you can just pause the video if you need to. All right, so let's get started. Uh, again, our process is going to be pretty much the same as what we did with the sharps. We want to space the notes in these scales. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Or whole steps for all of the spacings in the scales except three and four where there's a half step. And seven and eight where there'll be a half step. In the right hand column over here, we're going to be keeping track of how many flats are in each one of these scales. And over here are the notes we're going to start with. Again, it's a two-step process. We're going to be writing out the note names in the scale and then checking the distances between each one of those note names we've chosen, matching them to this pattern, using flats in this group if they do not match. You'll see very quickly sharps will not help you in this particular group. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with F. And as it's in, starting with F, it will of course end with F, and it's going to go through all the natural notes. Starting with F, we'll just write down our G, an A, a B, C, D, E, and then we're going to end with F. Also notice that for the flat scales, the only scale that does not start with a flat is F. All of the rest of the scales start with a flat. Okay, so we have our note names, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Checking our distances, we will find that F to G is a whole step right where I need it. G to A is a whole step. It's perfect. A to B is a whole step in three and four position. I need a half step there. I'm going to flat the B. I would not want to move the A because I've already checked the distance between G and A and it worked for me. So the correct answer here to make this a half step would be to flat your B, creating a half step here. At the same time, B flat to C becomes a whole step between three and four. C to D works as a whole step, D to E is a whole step, and E to F is a half step at seven and eight. So the F major scale requires the use of one flat. Over here we can just write one or one flat, just to make sure we know how many flats are in this particular scale. All right, going to B, starting with B, we'll just go C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And again, let's put in the flat here, B, flat. We start with B flat, we're going to end with B flat. It's really nice if you go ahead and add that at the very beginning when you're choosing your note names. Now then, B flat to C is a whole step, and that works. C to D is a whole step, right where I need it. D to E is a whole step, I need a half step. Flat your E, creating the half step here between D and E flat. E flat to F is a whole step, and that works. F to G is a whole step, just what I need. G to A is a whole step, it's perfect. And A to B flat is a half step right between seven and eight. So two flats required for the B flat major scale. All right, again, we have loop points. You can stop the video here, go back and go over this a couple times until you feel comfortable with it before moving on. All right, starting with E, let's write in F, G, A, B, C, D, E flat. So we started up. E flat to F is a whole step, it works. F to G is a whole step, that works. G to A is a whole step, does not work. I want a half step here, flat your A. A flat to B, that's actually a step and a half, it's too large. We want a whole step. So B flat will create a whole step between A and B. Think of it this way, A to B is a whole step, so A flat to B flat is also a whole step. They move the same direction, the same distance, so their spacing was maintained. B flat to C is a whole step, right where I need it. C to D is a whole step, that's perfect. D to E flat is a half step right where I need it. So we have one, two, three flats here, not four, because again, we do not count the E flat twice. So three flat, moving to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat. 
A flat to B flat is a whole step. B flat to C is a whole step. C to D flat is a half step. D flat to E flat is a whole step. E flat to F is a whole step. F to G is a whole step. And G to A flat is a half step. Exactly what we need. One, two, three, four flats. Moving to D. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D flat. D flat to E flat is actually a step and a half. Flat to E. E flat to F is a whole step. That's what we want. F to G flat is a half step. G flat to A flat is a half step. I'm sorry. G flat to A flat is a whole step. That's what we want here. A to B flat is a whole step. B flat to C is a whole step. And C to D flat is a half step. One, two, three, four, five flats. Not six. Again, we do not count the D flat twice. So five flats. Moving to G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G flat. G flat to A is a step and a half. I want a whole step, flat the A. A flat to B is a step and a half. I want a whole step, flat the B. B flat to C is a whole step. I want a half step, so flat the C. Here we go. B to C is a half step, so B flat to C flat is a half step. They move the same direction, the same distance, so their spacing is maintained. So B flat to C flat is a half step. Also, the correct Note is C flat, not B. Even though C flat sounds just like B, and we played in the same spot on your guitar, in this particular scale, we refer to it as C flat. Right, C flat to D flat will be a whole step. D flat to E flat is a whole step. E flat to F is a whole step, and F to G flat is a half step. So here in the key, or the scale, G flat, everything is flatted except for the F. That will be six flats, not seven. We do not count the G flat twice. Now, as with the sharps, when I started with C, if you look at the beginning of video three, the C major scale is all naturals. And then when we started with the C sharp, it was all sharps because we wanted to maintain the same spacing. If we move the first note up a half step, all the notes have to come up a half step in the C sharp major scale to make them, the spacing be the same, make it work out. Well, with the C flat, it's the same thing. If C natural is all naturals, we start with C flat, we've dropped the first note a half step, all the notes will have to drop a half step. So we write this out, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C flat. To make this work, we will have to flat every note in the scale. So C flat to D flat is a whole step, D flat to E flat is a whole step, E flat to F flat is a half step, F flat to G flat is a whole step, G flat to A flat is a whole step, A flat to B flat is a whole step, and B flat to C flat is a half step. So seven flats, all notes flatted. All right, so this is how we write out major scales with flats. We're keeping track of how many flats are in each one of the scales. That will be important later for our key signature lesson. But for right now, we just want you to practice this. I usually have my students fill out a chart like this about twice a day for a week to 10 days to get this down. Remember, you can print out the, the sheet or just on scratch paper write the numbers one through eight, mark half steps between three and four and seven and eight, write the notes in this order, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, G flat, and C flat. Choose your note names. Step two, check the distances between those note names. Make sure that you have your half steps falling between three and four and seven and eight using very, uh, various amounts of flats in this particular group. Again, set your loop points. Go over this lesson as many times as you need to to get this down. And I hope you find it informative. Thanks for uh, tuning in.